Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And I am pretty fed up with women's sizing. Guys get like exact waist measurements and we just get like arbitrary numbers. Like you're a 10. No, you're a 31. No, you're a large. Like there's no, there's no uniform way of sizing women's clothes. And it's really irritating. <laughs> so today I went to the mall and I went to 12 different stores and tried to size 12 pair of jeans at each of those stores. Some of them fit me perfect. Some were just a little little bit too baggy, some I couldn't even zip up. It's just basically the wild west out there for women trying to find the right size for them. It's a little crazy. If you're new to my channel, do make sure to subscribe. We just passed 400,000 and the channel is growing so quick. So to any of you guys who are new, I am so, so happy to have you here. And if you've been here for a while, thanks for sticking around. Glad to have you here too. Now let's get into the video. The first store I went to was Express, and Express had a lot of cute things that were drawing my eye, but I had to just kind of put on tunnel vision. I'll probably come back there for Black Friday. Right now, it's time to focus on jeans, and a really nice sales associate helped me find a pair of high-rise, kind of like jegging jean type. She grabbed those for me in a size 12, as with every single other pair in this video, I did the same sizing throughout. And I hit up the dressing room, and these jeans fit great. They were fitted, but I wasn't spilling out over the top. There wasn't any muffin top, so I know this was the right size because it wasn't too tight, but they also weren't too loose. I wasn't having to like pull them up all the time while I was posing for the video. I'm really glad that this is how I started off the video because these pants were perfect. They were high waisted. They had a great fit. They were really comfortable, really fit like a true size 12. And I'm glad that I got to start off this video with a pair of pants that fit me really comfortably. The second store I went to was Old Navy, and Old Navy had a ton of jean options that were pretty inexpensive, and I've had jeans from Old Navy before, but I got really excited because I saw that they added a curvy fit, like specifically curvy, and not just that meaning plus size, like an actual curvy jean for sizes zero to 20 that had nothing to do with size and everything to do with the way that they structured the pants, like a smaller waist and bigger legs. And I was so excited because this is not something that you ever used to see in stores and it's becoming a lot more common and jeans that are structured like that always fit me way better. And when I'm talking about being curvy, I mean curvy as like a body type and a body structure and not about a size. Like no matter what weight I am, I always have that like hourglass curvy body structure where I have disproportionately large thighs, a smaller waist, big up top. It can definitely be a struggle, but I was really excited to try on these curvy jeans. I definitely felt the difference in the fit from their regular jeans, but the 12 was still just a little bit big for me. When I first put them on, they felt okay, but after standing in them for a minute or so, I felt myself constantly like hiking them up and having to readjust. There was also a little bit of extra fabric in the legs, which is like never a problem that I have. And the waist also still had that gap. It wasn't as bad as the regular jeans, but you know, still a little bit too loose. So I think I'd have to size down to a 10 in these jeans, but I do really like the curvy fit and the problem in the waist was definitely a lot less than their regular jeans, but still just a little bit too big in all the areas for me, even though it was my regular size 12. Oh, and these jeans were $29.99 for anyone that was wondering. Store number three was Lucky Brand, and Lucky Brand is specifically known for their jeans, so I was very excited to try a pair. And just like at Old Navy, Lucky had a specific curvy fit jean. It was called their Curvy Lolita jean, and it was actually mid-rise instead of high-rise, but since it was specifically curvy, still wanted to try it. These jeans were really comfortable and way more lightweight and thin than some of the other jeans that I have. The curvy style and structure to these jeans also made the waist tighter than usual, which eliminated that gap in the back that I usually get with a lot of different jeans. I didn't feel like these were squeezing me around the waist, but they were definitely tight. And because they were mid-rise, I kind of felt like I did have a little bit of muffin top, which is kind of weird because they actually weren't that tight. Like I did have a little bit of stretch and room in the waist. It wasn't uncomfortable. I think it was just probably more the fit than anything, the fact that they were mid-rise. But if I sized up, they would be too loose. So these jeans just weren't quite the perfect fit for me, but they were pretty close. I'd say they fit very true to a size 12, and these jeans were a hundred and $19, so definitely on the pricier side. Store number four was Hollister. And I have not been shopping in Hollister for a while. It's definitely a store that I was more into in my teen years. Now I'm a 22 year old. Don't really go into Hollister as much, but one thing I did notice is that they have teen sizing instead of women sizing. So basically that means their sizing is odd numbered, whereas women sizing is even numbered. So while I would usually be a 12, I either had to choose 13 or 11. So I went with an 11. And these were not even close to fitting 
kidding. They were absolutely suffocating my thighs, but I did get them up and there was no chance that these were gonna zip. And like I said, Hollister is teen sizing and they also do cater to that more like straight athletic cut body type without the wider hips like I have. So it makes sense that they wouldn't fit me. It's not a big deal. They just weren't the pants for me. Definitely, definitely not the pants for me. It was honestly a weird experience for me because I went to the same mall that I've been going to since I was like in high school. And I was in this dressing room and the pants didn't zip up and I was like, ah, oh, that's a bummer, but who cares, like next. And then I remembered, like I had like a flashback. It was like, like that's so Raven style, like looking off into the distance. <laughs> no, but really I had like a little memory pop up in my head of having like a legit breakdown in that same dressing room at that same Hollister, like probably six or seven years ago, going back to school shopping with my my mom and something not zipping up in the size that I was used to and me just being so upset and feeling like so worthless and I'm just so glad that I don't let myself be ruled by a weight or a size or what other people think about me anymore it's like so freeing so just remember that if your pants don't zip up or the size that you usually are doesn't work out don't worry about it. It's not your fault. There's nothing wrong with you. It's the clothes that are the problem. You are not any less valuable as a person at a size 10 or a size two. And you can always size up or leave the store and go somewhere else that has a size that works for you. Just don't let it get you down. It's just pants. It's just a size and it's all right that it didn't fit. On to the next one. Number five is American Eagle, which if you've been on my channel for any time at all, you know this is my favorite place for jeans. Most of my jeans are from American Eagle. I already have this super distressed jegging pair at home, so I wanted to try something a little bit different. I went with the high rise instead of the super high rise. I just love the fit of these. Even though they're different than the ones that I have, just all American Eagle jeans fit me like a glove. They're stretchy enough to fit my thighs perfectly and not suffocate them, but they don't bag in my waist because they have that like flex fit. They're actually pretty snug at my waist, but not uncomfortable at all, not squeezing at all. It's a very like smooth transition from my waist to the pants. There's no spillage on the sides. Just a perfect size 12 for me and the high waist was amazing. I'm really, really glad that these ones fit perfect after the Hollister debacle because it's always nice to have something fit you well. Store number six, halfway there, was Abercrombie and & Fitch. And I have recently like fallen back in love with Abercrombie. The pants that I was wearing while I was shopping are actually from there, but I hadn't tried their jeans since like eighth grade. So I was interested to see how they were gonna fit my body now versus the way they fit my body when I was like 14. So I grabbed a 12 in their basic high rise dark wash jeans. And I was really pleasantly surprised by the fit. They were comfortable and flattering. And honestly, I'd say comparable to the American Eagle jeans. And you guys know I love AE so much, so that is like the highest compliment coming from me. <laughs> They're just super stretchy. They don't say jegging anywhere on the label, but definitely jegging material. And they fit perfectly in my waist, but weren't too tight on my thighs. The lighting in the Abercrombie dressing rooms is just terrible, so you can't even really see these jeans that well, but just take my word for it, they were great fit was great and just fit like a true size 12. I don't know if Abercrombie changed their sizing or if I just had like really bad memories of Abercrombie, but I feel like their jeans used to not have room for curves and now they definitely do. So I don't know if they changed it, but it's working great for me. So I'm excited about their new fit or maybe just the way that they fit me now. Anyways, these jeans are usually $78, but they were 50% off. So that's like, uh, I don't know. 50% off of that, do the math, someone in the comments, cause I'm not gonna do it. It's like nine o'clock at night, not math time. <laughs> Up next, store number seven was H&M, and H&M typically runs pretty small. I usually have to size up at least one, sometimes two sizes when I go there. So I was a little nervous about their jeans fitting. I was thinking this might be a Hollister situation all over again, but I grabbed a size 31, so that's the equivalent to a size 12, and I hit the dressing room. It didn't go well. All right, you guys, I'm in the dressing room at H&M, and these pants, the 31, won't even like zip up a little bit to the point that I don't think I can even show you because I would probably get demonetized because you can legitimately see my underwear. So yeah, H&M size, not very good. Not very true to size compared to the other stores. Here's a little clip where you can at least kind of see how bad the fit was and how absolutely small these were, especially in the waist and the tummy. But I have to blur out my underwear because that's how bad the fit was. H&M, bye sis. 
store number eight was Nordstrom and Nordstrom is a department store with a lot of different brands but I had one specific in mind I wanted to try and that is Khloe Kardashian's jean line Good American. A lot of people have been talking about how great these jeans fit especially for a curvy figure. So a smaller gap free waistband, more area for the booty and the thighs. I was excited to try them. I grabbed a size 12 pair in a high waisted fit and they looked amazing at first but then I looked at the price tag $175. And once I put them on, there was a serious problem. They were perfect. You guys, I love these pants. They are honestly the perfect fit for me. But how do I justify spending almost $200 on a pair of jeans? They have that tight but stretchy waistband. So it's not loose and there's no gap, but I still don't have that like muffin top. I don't have anything like coming out over the top of the waistband, which is how you know it's too tight. I didn't have that. So I knew I was in the right size. They were fitted everywhere, but not uncomfortable at all. They had that really high flattering waistband waistline. The butt looks great. The legs look great. I just love these jeans. I honestly think they might be my favorite pair of jeans I've ever worn. Really, really awesome fit. Definitely fit like a true 12 and they also fit great for my curvy body shape. So I love that. I think I'm going to have to come back to Nordstrom on Black Friday. I put a pair of those on hold. So I think I'm going to come back and see if I can get a better deal once Friday rolls around. And if not, if they're still the same price, oh, I might just have to do it. They're they're a great pair of pants. Store number nine, Forever 21. And this is such a big store and I really haven't shopped here in a few years. So it took me a little while to actually find the jean section. I searched through a bunch of racks until I finally found a 31, which is the equivalent to a size 12. These jeans looked cute and they actually didn't look as small on the rack as I thought that they would be considering that Forever 21 usually runs a little small. And when I put them on, I was really surprised. The waist actually fit me perfect. And if anything, it was a little bit loose, but not not, not too noticeable. They fit really comfortably and I could totally just add a belt to fix that slight little gap. My main problem with the fit of these was that the legs were really tight. I do have thick thighs, so this will happen a lot where the waist fits perfect, but the legs are just too tight. And I noticed that when I shifted my weight onto one hip and kind of like popped my leg out, my, uh, my skin and my chub would just kind of like bulge out of the distressed areas on the jeans, which is not a look that I typically like to go for. But honestly, this is much better than I ever would have expected from Forever 21. I expected the jeans to be super small and I was just bracing myself for that uncomfortable feeling in the dressing room when it won't zip. But for a $29 pair of jeans, these actually fit really great. They had stretch to them. They were comfortable. Just that little problem in the thighs and the legs. But other than that, a pretty decent fit and a pretty true size 12 other than the thighs. Yeah, the thighs were a little tight, L little tight. <laughs> Store number 10 was Gap, and Gap had a really big selection of jeans, and I was very excited to see that they also carried a specific curvy jean shape. This is so awesome that so many stores have this now. I'm just like living for it. This was not a thing a couple years ago, and now all these stores are jumping on the curvy wagon, and I am, I'm all for it. All, all aboard the curvy wagon, the curvy train, jump on. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, the jeans. I grabbed a size 31 equivalent of a size 12 in that curvy fit and they were awesome. They were very comfortable jeans. They fit in the waist but had enough room for my thick thighs. And what was interesting about these pants is they were a little bit thicker and more structured than some of the other jegging type jeans that I tried earlier. But even though they were more like traditional jeans, they were still very comfortable and easy to move in. And they fit my butt great too. I love that. Sometimes jeans kind of like flatten out my butt, but these had plenty of room. And the Gap jeans were $79.95, but I think they were having a sale, like a buy one, get one free. So not bad. Gap jeans definitely fit more true to size than the old Navy jeans, even though they're technically run by the same company. Honestly, these are amazing, especially for a more traditional pair of jeans versus like jeggings. Gap curvy jeans are where it's at. I really loved these and they fit like a true size 12, not too big not too small, just right in the middle, a real 12. We're on the home stretch, guys. Number 11, I hit up Madewell, which is one of my favorite stores, but I actually don't own any jeans from them. I had no problem finding my size. They had a lot of options and a lot of variety in size and style. So I just grabbed a pair of high rise medium wash button front jeans and hit the dressing room. These jeans fit really well. Definitely what I expect a size 12 pair of jeans to fit like. I would compare these really to the Gap jeans in that they're not jeggings, they're more structured, but I can still move around with them and they 
they were very comfortable. They had that cute little button front detail, which I love, and the waistband was comfortable. It had plenty of stretch, but wasn't too loose. And these jeans were regularly $128, but on sale for 98, so still pretty expensive, but I guess a bit of a discount. These are just a great pair of jeans, a true size 12. My only complaint would be that they kind of flattened out my butt a little bit. There wasn't enough room back there. They were a little bit tight, so they didn't give that like round effect that you want in jeans. It was just kind of like flat, here's my butt, flatten it out, flat Stanley it out of there. This is why I don't film at night. Random things come out of my mouth. Anyways, to the last store, Anthropology. Walking into Anthropology, they had a lot of different denim sections from different brands, but I decided to go for the in-house Anthropology brand so that it was like the most specific to Anthropology, if that makes sense. So I grabbed a pair of high-rise medium wash jeans in a size 12. And this was the first pair that actually fit me perfectly in the thighs and the butt, but not at the waist. I could not get the zipper on these all the way up. And it actually wasn't even the waist because the waist fit comfortably. I wasn't spilling out. I could do the button at the top easily. It was really more because of my tummy and my hips. These jeans hit at my natural waist, so the actual waistband part was at the smallest part of my waist and fit comfortably, but I got a little tummy in the way of the zipper and it just wouldn't go up. Other than that, they're actually really comfortable jeans and I think the cut is really cute and flattering. They're cute, but the 12 just wasn't quite right for my proportions. I think I might go back and try the 14 on Black Friday though. So with all 12 pairs of jeans that I found, I think the best fit would have to be the Good American jeans. I honestly was just floored with how comfortable they were, how flattering they were. They fit my waist and my thighs and made my butt look good. They were just everything, but they do come with a really hefty price tag. So if you wanna spend a little bit less, but still get a great fit, I think the best deal on this list was definitely the American Eagle jeans. These jeans were $39.95 and they do a lot of sales online especially too. So I'll always just kind of peruse those when I'm scrolling through the American Eagle store. Definitely a great deal on a flattering pair of pants that I feel like I can move and pretty much do anything in. And it can't just all be sunshine and rainbows and flowers. Of course, there were things that I hated and I think the worst fit on this list has to be H&M, and I'm honestly surprised that those fit worse than the Hollister jeans. At least the Hollister jeans are meant for like pre-teens and they were in teen sizing, so it was an 11 instead of a 12. H&M, you've got no excuse. These pants are just way smaller than any other 12 at the majority of stores out there, and it makes it really confusing. Like if you go to H&M and try on clothes and your size doesn't fit, it's like, is the sizing just off or did I gain weight? It's like a weird thing. So just remember, if you're shopping and your pants don't zip or the size that you usually wear isn't right, it's okay. Don't, don't worry about it. I used to like identify with the number of my pant size. Like, oh, I'm a 10, I'm a 12. Like whatever it was, it was like, that's what I am. And then if I tried something on and it didn't fit, I felt like, I felt like that was the end of the world. And that is so sad to me. And also it just makes me so happy that I'm not in that place anymore. So if you struggle with that, just know it is a arbitrary number on the inside of a tag. It does not matter. The fit and your confidence and your comfort is what matters. Some places I'm going to be a 12, some a 10, some a 14, and it's just a number. It doesn't matter at all. So if you're trying clothes on and you have to size up or you have to leave the store because they don't have a size that fits you, don't stress about it. It does not define who you are and you are beautiful and wonderful and you have every reason to be confident. And that's where I'm going to end this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you on Friday with my Black Friday haul. I do one every year. I'm so excited. I usually get it up at like five or six in the morning. I pretty much shop all night. It's a blast. So get ready for that. And don't forget to be confident, love your curves, and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.